that people are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And the numbers are not helping. The numbers are, in a sense, adding to the COVID fatigue. New at 11, inundated with numbers, and one psychologist believes it's leading to COVID burnout. Statistics are all readily available at state, county, even city levels. But should you even be tracking them at all? It really just makes your brain explode sometimes. You know, and WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle spoke with that psychologist and an epidemiologist about how you can avoid COVID burnout. Hop online and you'll see. There's no shortage of data on COVID-19. It's meant for transparency. What you get, breakdowns by sex, age, large gathering types, bar graphs, line graphs, numbers galore. 3,590 cases. 1,461 Kentucky. 490 at the end of last month. Dr. Stuart Bassman, a local psychologist. What the authorities are doing is giving us data but we don't know how to manage this data. And he says it's contributing to burnout. They look on the internet. They look for something that would give them knowledge to master this. But the unfortunate thing is the cure becomes a curse where they're overwhelmed with data. Stephanie Courtney is an epidemiologist with the Cincinnati Health Department. And if you're looking for numbers, she says to watch the positivity rate, which is the number of positive cases over the number of total tests performed. Also, the reproduction number, if it's at one, that means one person with COVID-19 is, on average, spreading it to one other person. The lower the number, the better. Experts want it lower than one. Do I care about one or two statistics and then leave out the rest? Is there, is there a balance that, that people can strike? The key for that is to simplify it without distorting it. Want to avoid the numbers? Keep an eye on your state's color-coded system. And even better, in some cities like Cincinnati, you can track COVID spread by neighborhood to better manage your day-to-day -day life. Knowing where to look can provide clarity while keeping peace of mind. We're overwhelmed and we don't know how to manage it. So we need to learn how to be selective. Jake Ryle, WCPO, 9 News. You know